Hello, people of the internet. How are you? It's Colleen Gallagher here. So when you join, say, hey, oh, I'm just kidding. Well, you could say that. I wish you could. You know what I'm excited for actually now? The day that you could leave audio comments. That's like the exciting of exciting things. Hello, Thomas, how are you? But when you join, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from on planet Earth, obviously, because we have this global community all over the world, which really excites me, it delights me, it thrills me, and I wanna know where you're from. Hey, Brian, hey, Athlea. Um, we'll just wait for a few of you, and I'm also getting some links while we're waiting, but we have a lot that I need to share today. Like, today was one of those days where I'm like, pinch me, is this life, hey, John, is this life even fucking real? Like, is it real? James, James is on. You guys, when you guys comment and you guys let me know where you are and you're like, Hey girl, hey, this, you don't even understand what it does to my body. You don't even understand what it does to my soul. You don't even understand. Like when you guys leave comments, the amount of energy it offers into my life. Hello, Lucas. Like it just offers so much. So James, you get like five gold stars for Lucas. Now you get a gold star. You're bringing life into me when you comment, when you engage, when you say hello, you guys like really, it lights my soul on fire. John, yes, we have a hey girl, hey. This just it delights me. You don't even know how much. It's just exciting. It's just the vibe. It's just the thing. Armenia, how are you? I'm amazing. Okay, yay, you guys are getting it. I love it. Okay, so are we ready for tonight's discussion? Let's type a yes in the comments if we're ready for tonight's discussion because tonight's discussion, tonight's show, whatever you want to call it, is going to be a delight. So who's ready? Are you excited? Let me hear a yes. Let me hear I'm excited. I'm even gonna light my little candle while we do this. Hold on. While you guys type yes, I'm excited for tonight's conversation. Okay, so this is my candle that I got. It's pine wood. It's really, really, it smells amazing. Okay, so yes, we have one yes in the house. We'll have more yeses soon. So today was one of those days where I swear to God, I feel like my life is like legitimately from God being manifested in the physical. Like so many things happened that were serendipity. Craig is on the line now. Everybody, Craig has joined, which is just a delight. So um, today was one of those days. Like I woke up, I texted one of my friends at 555, ironically. And the message that I sent to this friend is relevant because I'm going to tell you later. So I sent a message 555 wake up, I do my things, I do my journal, I'm living my life. I'm kind of a little bit upset. Like I have a little bit of an emotional upsetness when I wake up this morning, like I'm kind of irritated. I'm a little bit bothered. There's a situation in my life that I feel like is not being resolved and it's feeling like it's out of my control and I'm getting so bothered by it because I feel like I'm not in control. Carlos, how are you? Um, like, I feel like I'm not in control of it. So I don't know if you guys have scenarios like this, where you feel like you want something to happen, especially from somebody. And you're like, please do the thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, please just motherfucking do the thing. And they're not doing the thing. And the more that you're like trying to be like, oh my God, I need you to do the thing because this is really irritating me. It's like repulsing. Hey, Tim. It's like repulsing them to do it, but you know this, but you can't help, but not obsessively like do this. So that's what I woke up to this morning. It was raining in LA. Again, it's been raining for two weeks. This has never happened in all four years I've lived here. So I'm like, okay, the rain needs to go. We need the sun. We need the things. I know, right, Tim? So, okay. So anyway, I wake up. Okay, so I do my journal. I get ready. I straighten my hair. I was like looking at my clothes and I decided to wear my bright fuchsia Detroit hoodie, which makes me happy. I'll show James. I know James knows this hoodie, my Detroit hoodie. And I'm like just thrilled and delighted life is going great, right? So I do my things, we post the things, we get the things, we schedule the things. Today is the last day for enrollment, men, last day for enrollment of how to make the Awake Women Crave You. So I'm responding to any questions, I'm responding to my messages, living my life. And then the day starts to get crazy. Like I had an experience last night where I did this, um, I can't even go into it, but I had this experience last night and it was like so accurate, so aligned. And I get a message from this person today about something. And this something pertains to my third book, An Uncompromised Life. So if you have not gotten this book, An Uncompromised Life, it is an amazing book. If you are going through a heartbreak, if you're going through divorce, if you're going through a breakup, if you're going through a loss of somebody like grieving, this is like the book for you. Like anything traumatic, big, big traumatic things. And you're really looking for answers of why did this trauma 
why did I experience it? Why is this happening to me? And like, how the fuck am I going to get over this? Because I'm in so much pain. I just don't know what to do. So it pertains to this. So I get like these things and I'm like, oh my God, I'm like having a heart attack almost. I'm like, this is insane. So I text the person that it pertains to like what just happened. They call me and it's like even more insane. Like as we're talking and I go to 7-Eleven and as I go to 7-Eleven, I get like my cookies and I get some things. I'm like, I just need to take a fucking breather because holy shit, whatever's happening in my life, I feel like I'm like elevating beyond planet earth. I don't know if you guys have ever had that when it's like, okay, so much is happening. My brain is overstimulated. I'm overlated. Like I don't even know what to do. So I go there and then as I sit there and I'm eating my cookies overlooking LA because there's a park by my house, this guy next to me starts to speak to me and his name ironically also goes with this story that's in my third book, like not published in the third book, but it goes with like a lot of things. So he starts talking to me and his dog's name is Destiny, Destiny. And this is even crazier because it's like, it just like, it's like everything is now like lining up of like, holy shit, like this thing from yesterday to this thing to now to this thing, whatever, like this is all destiny. Like everything's fucking lining up. Like this is so crazy. Like I can't even make this up. Like so much is happening so quickly. And like just all these events that happened in my life today, like literally it was like one thing after the other, after the other, that was like, who is making this movie? Like what is happening in my life right now? And what was crazy is that all of it was around God. All of it was around like purpose. All of it was around coming closer to relationships. All of it was like the cycles ending in relationships and cycles beginning or cycles renewing our cycles like being restored or cycles just expanding. Like it was just all this shit that you cannot even imagine. So anyway, I wanted to come on why we had to talk about the things tonight is because one tonight is the last night to get my shift to the limitless mindset audio. And I feel like when you, uh, what do you call this? I feel like what I just shared with you was because I was a limit in a limitless state and everything that kept happening, I wasn't sitting there trying to stop the momentum. I wasn't sitting there trying to say, this is too crazy. This is too much. Like this can't be real. Like, oh my God, like, da, da, da. like I just kept letting the day and the momentum of the magic unfold. Like I just kept letting myself believe the wildest imagination that I had or whatever it is that was inside of me. Because a lot of things that happened today were like manifestation of years, like years I've been choosing this and manifesting this. So one, I highly recommend going to my website and getting the shift to the limitless mindset audio. Let's see if I can pin it in Instagram. I don't know if it will let me. Um, because tonight's the last night, it's a dollar. Then I think we're going to put it up to $8 or we're going to put it up to $11. I'm not really sure. We're going to see. Um, but anyways, you're going to want to get that for $1 because a lot of what happened to me today was all about like shifting into that limitless state and being continuously in that state, even when shit's like so magical. So like, how is this my life? Like, how is this my reality? And I know for those of you suffering like now, if you're like in where my third book was an uncompromised life, this yellow one. You can get it on Amazon or you can get it on my website. Um, if you are in a lot of pain and you are really suffering and you were, uh, one second, I just want to read this. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll read this. So anyway, so, um, so anyway, I, if you're like in this space, if you're in a lot of pain, you're in this space of your experiencing trauma, which I feel like I was, there was times in my life where I feel like I felt such a depression. There was times when I felt such a sadness. There was a time when I felt like, how the fuck am I going to move this forward? Like, how am I legitimately going to move this forward? How is this going to happen? Like, I don't know. Like I, I didn't know like how I was going to be happy or how this magic of like this idea or this vision that I had for my life was going to manifest like with the money, with multiple six figure a year business, with clients all over the world, with the top podcasts, like amazing friends, like things that I don't know, like love and relationships and types of connections and like the way that I got to live my life and experience it and the types of friendships I got to have while doing business, the type of clients that I got to have that inspire me. Like there was just so many things I never knew was like possible. And so I wanted to share this. I wanted to come on this live because everything you want is already in front of you. Everything you want is already available to you. And what's really important is to, to acknowledge that you truly do know like the thoughts inside your mind, the ones that you know to be true, like the ones that you know of how great your life is supposed to be, like the thoughts that are inside of you that are guiding you to this like 
dreamlike state, like this, this like over euphoric bliss state that you get in like when you're daydreaming in the car or you're just like at the park or you like maybe wake up from a dream and you're like, whoa, did that just happen? Like, I want you to know those things are real and those things are, are part of your destiny of what you're meant to align to. So one, I want you to make sure you go one, one go get my Shift to Limitless Mindset audio. It's going to like do you great wonders. And then two, the other thing I wanted to, learn, wanted to speak about, it's kind of funny because everything today was kind of around men. Um, everything that I wanted to share or speak about is it comes back to this principle of relationships and it comes back to this principle of choosing love. Even when things don't look like they're working out, even when things are fucking painful, it's like choosing love instead. Choosing like this is painful and this is so hard and this is like whatever, but knowing how to choose like awakened and conscious relationships. And sometimes a majority of the time when you're not just choosing mediocrity, when mediocrity is just like this basic, like I wake up, go to work, go to sleep, eat dinner, like you're not having these like in-depth and in-tune conversations about the future of where your life could go. You're not choosing to have these relationships that like when you meet, they're expanding you into a new reality. They're expanding new neurological pathways in the way that you think and the way that you respond and the way that you do different things. Like, I want you to know, hi babes, how are you? I want you to know that everything stems from relationships and it's so crucial especially as men because and, and women too but right now this course that i have how to make the awakening women crave you is specifically for men i know ladies tomorrow will be back on both of us but this course and why i want to share especially especially it because my life the books i've written the books i'm writing the books that are coming couldn't have been written without men and it's so important that as men you become this like pillar this like mountain this beacon of uh, I don't know, like this pillar, like this mountain, this, this pillar of light that you sit there as like the pillar and you allow the feminine, which is like the ocean, it's chaotic, it's insane to kind of navigate around you to offer and birth creations because the old paradigm was men working and producing and doing that. We're in an awakened paradigm. We're going into an, a scenario where conscious relationships, conscious relating, conscious conversation, conscious communication, energetic communication is coming to be the place of where we are. And so men, especially how to make the awake woman crave you, it's so important to understand the role is shifting where you're not necessarily maybe to be the producer, but you're there to be a pillar for her to offer creativity through you, for her to produce things or create things or move things or flow through things because of who your essence is and because of what you allow to resurface or activate in her because she feels safe within you. So we're just living in a very different paradigm. And I personally, even today, like the destiny that happened or the things that I texted at 5.55 in the morning, then I did a 55 second audio. And then it was ironic. The reason that these two people were at the park was because of the sun. And my friend that I messaged at 5.55 in the morning was about like the sun God. I was joking about the sun God. But um, I then did another audio and I'm with them 55 seconds. It's like five fives in a row, five, 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 five. five. Like it, it was just so many synchronicities that were insane. But all these men that were around me that happened to be today just happened to be men. It could have been women, but I'm just going for this awakened woman to crave you. Like your role and as the awakened man is almost so to offer, be the space of offering presence, be the space of offering truth, like be the space of not being afraid to speak who it is you truly are. Hello. And when you do this, that begins to make the awake woman crave you. When you begin not, when you begin to share what's on your mind so she can um, open like a flower, like she can open and expand and be raw in her creativity of what's flowing through her. That is what bursts the relationship you're wait, waiting for. And that is a practice, which is exactly what I'm teaching in my How to Make the Awakening Women Crave You course. Ladies, even if you have your husband, you're like, I wish my husband would do this. I wish my partner would do this. This is a great place. You can even get it for your husband. You can get it for your partner. You can get it for your beloved. Um, you can watch it with them together. It's, you know, whatever. But this is like a space where I really want to support men on why your work of awakening, why your work of consciousness, why your work of understanding true relating, like authentic, sustainable relating is important. And that's why my fourth book is called The Cycles of Love because there's ups and flows of love. There's ups and flows of relationships. And it's knowing 
how to process this, how to emotionally regulate this, how to go through all the cycles of it and still sustain your life, sustain your purpose, sustain your inner happiness and inner fulfillment. So that's kind of what I had to share. I had a lot to share. Let me know if there's questions or if there's thoughts or you guys want to share something. I'm going to read what James said. Deb and I were in the sin signature trying to get a picture in front of the Granite Irish Independence Tribute. A man wearing a Marquis Jet hat, a company your mentor Jesse Eller founded, offered to take our photo. I definitely noticed at the time. That is like a divine synchronicity because Jesse Itzler is absolutely amazing. If you don't know him, you should absolutely follow him. And the fact that you know that, it's like just showing you you're getting more and more in alignment with the places you're meant to be, with the people you're meant to be. You're meant to be around successful people. You're meant to be around high net worth people. You're meant to be around people who are passionate about offering transformation, passionate about whatever their purpose is. And that can look in so many ways. So like James, that's in a beautiful manifestation of you becoming more awakened, you becoming more observant, you becoming more aware, which is part of the awakened man, which is part of helping the awakened woman um, crave you. So Anyway, that was what was alive aside my heart. I had to share it. I had to come on. It was one of those days that I swear to God, even if I told you everything, you wouldn't believe it. But it was like one thing, boom, 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 after the other, just in this like massive flow state. And I just want you to know when you're listening to this, it makes me emotional. I know in my life the polarity of this. I know my life, the contrast of this. I remember a very different day, probably two years ago, I was sitting under a tree, it was sunny in LA, and I felt so alone, like debilitating aloneness, debilitating pain. And I was sitting there writing a message on my phone, which is actually called a poem in my book, um, Falling in Love with the Invisible Man. And I'm sitting there, like under the park, like, you know, writing this poem, writing this thing, not knowing my book, you know, even the name of my book that comes out next month. And then to have a day like today where it was like overload of stimulation, like overload of like manifestation, like it was just like, I have no words for it. And this is the beauty of doing this work. This is the beauty of compounding this work. This is the beauty of not just doing it for a day or a week, but years, decades of a time. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend to anyone if you're listening to this and you resonate, you feel my energy, you feel a calling, you feel like, oh my God, I want that energy. I want that hope, I want that faith, I want that magic. I highly, highly recommend one my mindset audio shift to the limitless because that limitless state is exactly what happened today and what happens when you're in that state. And two, for men, today's the last day to enroll in the how to make the awakened woman crave you, which even after today, it's like I believe in this purpose so much of supporting you men because I understand once you awaken the gifts that you offer for us, the gifts that you provide to women for our new creation, our new paradigm of living in this life. So if this resonated, if you loved it, say, Colleen, I love this. Colleen, I have this question. I just love your engagement. It means the world to me. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. I love you.